Hello everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. And as you can see from the title of this video, I want to talk about Melody Cherie's announcement this evening about her upcoming TikTok Live based out of Los Angeles, California. I am so excited for her. We're going to take a look at Melody's Instagram stories and get all of the deets that way. Now, before we check out her IG stories, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video. Um, if you're feeling a little negative and you hit the dislike, okay, do you? But um, I will be feeling definitely positive and happy for someone else like Melody Sheree. Hit that like button, then YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy discussing the various topics surrounding love and marriage Huntsville. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to show style and spirit. I would definitely love to have you as one of the showstoppers. And everything that I'm saying in this video is alleged and just my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to, she actually did an IG reel of her vacation and then everything that she did with the kids once she returned back home. So I'm just going to let it flow. Okay, like Tony Braxton saying on the Waiting to Exhale soundtrack, we're just going to let it flow and go through her IG stories. I will slow them down once I'm going to start reading her big announcement. Here we go. Baby, one thing about me, I believe in self-care anywhere, okay? So, yes, Thursday, I booked a flight out the country and got to going to the water, okay? In the water, enjoying the sun, got right back, had Chef Jocelyn prepare an amazing meal for being the four-piece chicken nuggets, baby. I love her, her organic lemon chicken, and you know what? She makes it just right for me, and when I tell y'all, it is the bomb, it is the bomb bomb y'all better check it out baby and so then it was also time for my annual appointment so your girl did what she needed to do boss baby told me it was her teacher's birthday and she, mom can you please bring pizza to the school today and cupcakes so i did something i don't usually do i went to the grocery store okay and actually got cupcakes now after that i did a little bit of a self-love self-care again and got my workout in with none other than the miss deborah All right, I muted my mic so that you all did not have an echo. So now I'm going to take my time and we're going to go through her IG stories for her announcement. So Melody Cherie posted just about an hour ago, literally found myself in tears today, like real tears. Everything God is doing is just so amazing. So let me fill you all in. And let me go back and hit pause. Remember a month ago, I was challenged and you all helped me. We created a new TikTok creator page. Remember that? Because of my GMV on 7th Avenue Beauties page, which means the sales are sailing. <laughs> and all the hard work we've been doing, we were offered the opportunity to be signed with the top TikTok agency. But first, they needed a creator account, at least 5,000 followers, and some good sale history. Like, literally, this is the same agency who also manages the person who broke the highest single live TikTok at 1.6 million in sales in a single live. And we know um, that is, uh, we know who she is referring to. That is an amazing statistic, an amazing accomplishment. Sean and I were just in awe and still are at how God was moving. Now, in only a month, we've literally been invited out to host a TikTok Live in Los Angeles, California. We will be getting support like none other for this sponsored live. I'm still in disbelief. The most beautiful thing of it all is that when they asked me on last Friday if they could fly me out next weekend, I remembered I had the kids. And I immediately said, I'm taking them with me. And they're going to be a part of this milestone for their mommy and the business they literally have watched and helped become what it is today. 
And then I asked my mom to come out too. And she said, yes. Like when I say we are all gearing up for this weekend from inventory so we can ship Monday and Tuesday with no hiccups to training new people, to planning activities we are going to do while in LA. It literally feels surreal. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to be as active with you all as usual, but I love y'all. And of course, I'll be back and sharing thoughts and facts here and there on Sunday's Live. I thank you all for helping me to get here and for where we are going. My customers are amazing. My customers are literally everything and we wouldn't be here without you. We love you too, Mel. Hashtag thankful, hashtag spirit of gratitude. Let me mute that, Tupac. And this is her ad. I've already shared it on my IG stories. So I am so excited. I cannot wait to check it out this Sunday. So I'm going to make sure I'm not at the beach this Sunday. <laughs> I will definitely be at home so that I can check it out. I cannot wait. It's going to be fabulous. So I wanted to go through those and I wanted to point out, you know, Melody's um, self-confidence. She is confident enough to acknowledge, you know, the person that she's been connected with also manages the person who had the largest sales in one single TikTok live, 1.6 million. You know, she mentioned that on her IG stories in great detail. So Melody Cherie is not a hater. She's definitely self-confident where she can acknowledge that. So I think that that is great. And that was a takeaway for me as well. I think that that's awesome. And I'm just so excited. I knew that this would happen. I knew that she would be right down that same path. Seventh Avenue is an awesome skincare line. I told y'all, um, my landscaper, he let me know as well. And like his texts are interesting, like, because like, I still ask him about stuff because there's like animals, it, there's deer and possum and stuff. And so I thought I saw one and I needed some help with it and it wasn't it, but you know, yeah, he flirts every chance that he gets. And I really think that it's the body butter, body oil combination. I think when you mix it, it's like, uh, a, a, sexual kryptonite or something and yeah so her skincare line is awesome i love the primer i just can't get enough of it and i love the scrubs so when i use the primer after the scrub it just feels like i'm at the spa and i love love the the facial scrubs i love it has just the right right amount of oil in them and your skin just feels so amazingly soft so i cannot wait to be dialed in her last tiktok live i got a couple of the um, lemon body butters so i am good for their you know good to go for a little while so whatever she's selling this sunday i cannot wait to hear all about it but i definitely wanted to share this all with you now um i saw shout out to um reality shop tv she was showing a live from marceau where you know allegedly he may have booked you know luke from the group to live crew to come to his day party. And then I saw, you know, the uh, Magic City strip club inspired post that he and Tisha did where she was showing her backside. I saw that yesterday and I was just like, oh my gosh, but I didn't think to make a video about it. It didn't really move me that way. But then I saw where uh, Reality Shop TV definitely showed it. And I am just like, oh my gosh, but I guess I think that that's what Marceau enjoys. I think that he likes having the bar, the lounge, and he likes um, entertaining people. I think that's what he sincerely likes. And I believe, you know, home construction and being a contractor pays the bills and provides for the family and has been. But I think he really likes, you know, entertaining people in that club lounge space. But that is hilarious. And then during his live, I guess Chris Fletcher was the one in the ch live chat saying Uncle Luke. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I can't help, you know, two life crew, they, they nasty. Okay. But we're all adults over here and I don't care if anyone judges me anyway, but 
you know, when I think of Luke, I think of face down, ass up. That's the way we like to, you know, and so many countless others, you know, oh, me sore. And Two Life Crew would also say, hey, we want some, mm -hmm. you know? So if that is the type of day party that they're having, I would suggest that they actually have it at night, probably even after normal club hours after 2 a.m. But that was definitely an interesting post for sure. They literally could have filmed a scene from like Boys in the Hood and yeah. I think I think that would have been appropriate. They just needed Regina King from back in the day with her dookie braids and her big gold earrings and her lollipop, like what I think Tisha had in her mouth in the picture as well. But um, I hope that you all had a wonderful Wednesday. I actually was in the office today. That's always like, it just throws you off when you work from home full time. And then when you do go in the office, it's like physically exhausting because you deal with the rush hour traffic to and fro. And I'm just like, dude, let me get home ASAP. But I made myself, um, you know, go for a walk. I posted on Instagram on my IG stories because I hadn't been dialed in all day because I was in the office and it was just like different, you know. So I posted, you know, as soon as I got home and then, you know, I read up on some Diddy news. I know that he, you know, he, he was denied his appeal for bail. And um, I went for a walk and then I went to the gym, but I didn't do like any like body sculpting. I just walked on the treadmill again. So I just got like a lot of cardio and then closed out on the bike. And then um, I came home and had dinner and I was checking out like my favorite, um, some of my favorite political channels. I like um, the Midas Touch and I was watching them. And then, you know, tonight I saw Melody's um, IG stories. So I am so excited and happy for her. And I definitely wanted to make a video about it. But I hope that you all had a wonderful Wednesday. Most of the work week is over. Tomorrow will be a thriving Thursday. It absolutely will. So just keep thinking positive. You know, if you're dealing with anything, any challenges, any setbacks, it's going to be all right. You're going to be looking back on it. That's how it always works. Thank goodness. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.